A passion for owning and fixing up all kinds of cars led to a vibrant career for auto racing analyst Rutledge Wood. He has also co-hosted Top Gear US on the History Channel. Now he's at the RV Experience to show us the newest and coolest inventions coming to the RV market. Rutledge is joining us now from the showcase in Salt Lake City. Hey Rutledge, how are you? Go, hey, good afternoon, you guys. How you doing? We are excellent. We're ready to go camping. Oh my gosh, if you're ready to go camping, Salt Lake City, this is the place to be right now. The RV experience that you mentioned, this is half a million square feet oh of the God. newest, the latest and greatest in RVing all under one roof. It's unbelievable. Okay, so I'm ready, but not so ready because I've never done it. And, you know, what if you just like want to rent an RV or does it come with like instructions? <laughs> You know, you know what Kara is great is that the coolest thing about RVing is that really it is for anybody. If you don't want to pay insane hotel prices, if you don't want to do an Airbnb and stay in a stranger's garage, I'm with you. That's what makes Go RVing so cool. You can go to the website, GoRVing.com, and learn about how you can get started because it doesn't mean you have to go buy a diesel pusher motorhome tomorrow if you want to go see the countryside. And I think that's what's so cool. There's something for everybody out there, and you just got to ask a few questions and, and really really decide do you want to go in, in like a sprinter van based 4x4 and go off road or maybe you want to go have an ultimate tailgate set up that yeah you can also travel the country with there really is something for everybody is is our RVs like cars like I can look at a Plymouth Duster and go oh that's a 1973 can RV enthusiasts look at an Airstream and go oh that's a 2009 or and do they keep coming out with new new models each year well, I don't want to just I don't want to just run by that you just dropped a 73 duster mention. So props <laughs> right off the bat, Scott, for, for a car that was not super loved. I'm impressed with that notion. You know, what's cool is that there are some RVs like the Airstream that you point out, for example. Airstream to me is this classic Americana. It is this wonderful way to see the world. You know, I got a 53 Plymouth wagon and I always dreamed about putting one of the little Airstream Bambies behind there. But now Airstream just came out with the classic smart RV and this is taking that technology that we see today and really infusing it with that classic travel trailer that we know so imagine Scott you're out riding mountain bikes you're ready to come back you got a little hot you can get on your phone and you can turn on the air close the shades open the vent you can do everything that you'd need to do from the app I mean it's crazy to see how technology is affecting the RV but there are definitely people that have that ability like you mentioned to say oh, okay well this is a 67 or that's a 95 there's definitely that but what's so cool is seeing how all of the different innovations and the things we like in our day-to-day -day are affecting the RV world in a really great way mm. what if you're thinking of taking a trip with kids and it's a family trip first time in an RV like what do you need to have in there what do you recommend for success well, that's a great point. You know, I've got three daughters, so when I look at RVing, I think about what kind of fun stuff do I want to bring with me? Is it bikes? Is it kayaks? You know, where do we want to go? And, and that's it's a great place to start to sort of figure out how much of an adventure do you want to have? Because you could go to, say, Bristol, Tennessee and go catch a NASCAR race, or you could go to the Grand Canyon. It's really all about what it is that you want to see. And I'm a, I'm a guy, my dad grew up on Route 66, so I have this notion of driving my family down and retracing the old Route 66. So it's a cool thing that you can really figure out where do I want to go and, and what do I want to do? And then that's sort of your jumping off point for saying, okay, well, I need to make sure that we do have fun things to entertain us in case it's raining, but also like I want to make sure that we map out and we find caves and all the fun tourist stops that you'd want to do with your kids when you're out there on the road. Do you need a special license to drive these vehicles? You do not. Uh, similar to a 73 Duster, Scott, it's just get out there and go have a, a good time. Now, there are there are courses that you can take if you've never pulled a trailer before, for example, or maybe never driven a motorhome. There are also great ways that you can find out how to make sure that you're safe on the road. And GoRVing.com is a great place to not only learn, care, how you could get started, what you would need, but also, Scott, if you're going to pull something behind that Duster, you can also figure out how to do it safely. I, I have to be honest, uh, Rutledge, my, one of my first cars that my dad ever bought me was a Plymouth Scamp Slant 6. It was a 72. Uh, wow. It was it was a white vinyl roof, green, army green color. It was a beautiful car. You Man, you were crushing it in that thing. I'm <laughs> telling you, that Slant 6 and that white vinyl top, look out. You should have seen, seen his white vinyl pants to go with it. Stop it. All right, Lynch, thank you for being with us.
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I sure appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. I can see you in your mullet now. All right. <laughs> find more information about the RV experience online at GoRVing.com.